information. Oh, that's a vocab word for you. <laughs> well, Dictionary.com that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, moms and dads get prepared to send their kids back to school, of course, at this time of year. Many are curious, though, what about their attention span? Moms talk about it all the time. Is this just, you know, an active child or is there a problem? Is it ADHD or is it ADD? So that we've been out. talking, Jen, if people are just waking up with us this morning, you performed a test and there's a, what, a 15 minute test that kids can take? Yeah, they're doing it here at the Philmont Guidance Center. And Dr. Hartman is here, and this is just one of the things they're doing to try and figure out if kids are on the spectrum for ADHD, if they have attention deficit disorders. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, and so Gavin took the test while we were uh, on our commercial break, basically, mm -hmm. for the past hour. And he's showing us a little bit about what he had to do. What does he have to do here? What he has to do is discriminate between the different symbols that come up on the screen. There's a certain symbol that he has to respond to correctly, hitting the space bar and another symbol comes up and he has to inhibit that uh, tendency to hit the button. So what this measures is his He has ability. to stop himself? Is he has that to stop himself. Okay. <laughs> so that he has to, uh, what it does is measure his ability to pay attention and to uh, inhibit his impulses to uh, strike the space To bar. keep dinging, 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 dinging. And so the headband is key. Explain what that is. The headband allows us to measure his physical movement 50 times a second, uh, movements as small as two thousandths of an inch. And we uh, get the pattern of this movement over time, and that gives us a very good indication of whether or not someone has an attention deficit issue. Okay, Gavin, you wanna go see grandma? And we have to say that the reason why we're using him is that someone in your office, an employee, is his grandmother. That is correct. Okay, so show us what you found, and you have found some stuff already. Okay, yes we have. I'm just going to show some of the report here. Okay. This is his motion analysis, and what this shows is the pattern of his head motion over the course of the 15-minute test in five-minute blocks. And Gavin showed a very high degree of motion over time. Uh, he had a, a, quite a high number of movements, almost 8,000 movements in the 15 minutes. Uh, moving a total of 21.38 meters in the course of that time. Can I stop you right there? When we were watching him, we couldn't really, it didn't look like he was moving back and forth, but you showed this to me earlier. You said he was going back and back and back and back. This is the uh, the tracing of his head motion over time. Did he look he, different when you did the test, or did he look the same as when we just saw him? Uh, this was a very small snippet of time, and he was much more still for this than he was for the test okay. itself. All right. I just want to make sure that it's, like, mm -hmm. you can see him when he's physically moving back and forth. Correct. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so this uh, pattern of tracing is very consistent with the diagnosis of ADHD. Okay. Now if we take a look at another page here, this is a, the pattern of his attention state over the course of the test. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you right there. So basically, this is some of his results. We don't show everything, because mm -hmm. we don't wanna give the whole farm away, as they say. But this could then lead you to treatment, to a, a full diagnosis. Correct. And again, in most instances, uh, insurance can cover part of this. Correct. But the test is how much without insurance? Uh, without insurance, the test is $150. Okay. All right. Hey, listen, thank you so much for letting us come in here and peek inside your My world pleasure. for a little bit. Thank you very much. So, guys, very interesting. And, and I was curious because I didn't see Gavin during the initial test, but I heard about his head bopping. But as you saw, it was a little bit different scenario. So, so would he advise further testing for him yes. or did he clear of him ADHD? No. Um, actually, he says he has a, a, a high likelihood that there is something there. Okay. That's a, that's a controversial thing, isn't it? Sure. Uh, thank you, Jen, yeah. but check it out. Uh, about okay. 150 bucks, and sometimes insurance covers I'd have been way off on the spectrum. You couldn't get me to sit still to save my life. Oh, I'd be just a blur. I'd It'd be a solid block of blue. <laughs> but I was smart. I got all A's. Well, that's all right. Yeah, I'll just... 857. Hey, when it comes to potty training, let's move into this.